This is Robert, and Robert likes to push his weird, creepy agenda onto other people in the least friendly way possible. I was told about Robert through one of my subscribers, Rose, and after she told me about how gross the messages he sent to her were, I knew it was time for me to step in. So, without any further ado, here are possibly the weirdest messages I have ever received while making these videos. Also, if you like this video, remember to subscribe. It's free, please do it. Anyways, let's get into the video. So, to start off, our good friend bad boy Rob says, Hello, my little Miss Rosie Roo. Hello? Who is this? It's me, Robert, from the Vegan Appreciation Discord. Oh, I wasn't expecting a message from anyone there. I just wanted to see some recipes my mom could make for me. Been vegan long, honey? No, haha, <laughs> just a couple of weeks. What about you? Oh, I'm not a vegan. Okay, hold up. No, can't just gloss over that. Why are you contacting someone from a vegan Discord server and you're not even vegan? Why are you in that server? Also, why with the pet names already? Th this guy is just a specimen to examine for eons to come. We can all learn a thing or two on how not to be weird. But anyways, Rosie then says, You're not? No. My muscles in my entire body, for that matter, are stronger than you could ever believe. And then Rosie says exactly what we were thinking by saying, Why are you in a vegan Discord group then? Also, why are you messaging me? I can answer both of those messages in one, haha. <laughs> I like to message girls who are vegan. I show them how sexy and manly I am and convert them back. And you seem to be no exception. Oh. That's kind of weird. Don't be so f***ing rude. Well, I'm only 13, so... Rosie, I don't care about that. Uh, it's just Rose. Well, just Rose. I don't care about your age. I kind of like it. Here, let me start my three-step plan. What? Step one, send you a sexy photo of how strong me a meat eater is. Ew, I don't want to see that. Yeah, I didn't want to see that either. This guy's just going around sending this picture to people for no freaking reason. Like, good lord, dude. Then for some reason this guy says, I don't care about your age. Here's step two. I don't want step two. You give me your address. What? Why? I'm gonna come around, you sneak out of your house, and then I drive us away so you can taste some big meat. Okay, no. No. It's <laughs> off. This guy, they always go with the address. Why? I'm so glad that most people are smart enough not to give out their address like this. Remember, if this happens to you, do not give out your address. Second, that little illusion he makes at the end there, which is definitely an illusion, he can, he can shut his mouth. He can go choke on some big meat for all I care, dude. I don't want to come with you. I don't want to eat meat, and I don't want you to message me anymore. Rose, stop it. If you don't let step two of my plan continue, I'll find a way to let your family and all of your friends know how much of a s you are. Either you give me your address, or I will track down your IP and give you zero choice in if you get in my car with me or not. Jesus, okay, so now he's threatening to kidnap her. This guy's got a couple of issues in the head. His morals are obviously out the window. Perhaps his sanity is as well. But Rose then says, what? You can't do that, isn't that illegal? Do you think the law controls a man like me? I'm 45, strong as f and I'm known to be very convincing. This dude's 45, he should not be messaging Rose at all. He shouldn't be in any contact with her whatsoever. Like, he could be her dad and then some. So then Rose says, I don't want you to message me anymore, and I definitely don't want any of the meat you mentioned. Rose, darling, honey, beauty. Who said anything about the big meat that's ready for you being an actual piece of meat? Who's to say it's not attached to me right now? What? And yeah, that was the end of that for Rose, and I don't blame her at all. She went ahead and gave me access to her Discord account after contacting me, and here's what I had to say to our good boy Rob. Rose, don't be such a bit about it. Come on. God, all this for some stupid little vegan bitch. At this point, time had passed a little bit. I was out eating lunch, probably. <laughs> Don't quite remember, but what I do know is that Rob did not very much so like being left hanging. So after some time, he said, Rose, my baby, I'm so sorry. You're just so perfect. I got nervous. You're so mature for your age, too. You're perfect. Oh, yeah, just switch it around, buddy. But anyways, I then said, hi, Rob. Rose, baby, are you okay? Yeah, I'm sorry. I just needed some time. That's okay. Let's talk about this together properly. Why not in person? Send me your address like you said you would, and I can come over and rescue you. Excuse me, Rose never said she'd send it to you. And also, what does he mean by rescue? Rescue me? Yeah, you're, you're from your awful parents. My parents aren't awful. Shh, it's okay. It's just us. You're safe. Uh, okay. I still don't want to give out my address just yet. Just yet? 
That's fine. No, I'll get that address later. But for now... For now? What are we gonna do together? I thought you were doing step two and three of your plan. Gonna try and get some evidence out of this guy. No, step three will require you to have some extra clothes in case these ones get dirty. Oh. Oh boy. And make them hot. I mean that part. Oh boy. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Why do I need them? Well, you might get sweaty and kind of dirty in my car. Haven't really cleaned those back seats in a while. Yeah, I bet this guy has a dirty car. This guy probably drives some beaten up car from the 1970s and not in a cool way. Why don't I just sit in the front with you? <laughs> I mean, sure, while I'm driving. But if we get stopped by any cops, you gotta say that I'm your dad. Okay, so this guy's already schemed up a little plan in case he gets caught by the cops. That's fantastic. It's a sign of a real special person right there. Just a great human being. So I said, uh... But eventually we'll be in the back seat so I can fuck your fuck Oh, that is not a fun sentence. That is not a fun sentence. We can't say that one on the channel, but uh, trust me when I say it wasn't good. It wasn't good. To put it lightly, I went ahead and said, I don't know how comfortable I am with that. It's okay. Here, let me use my pro convincing tactics. I'll call you. No, uh, I'm uh, just not ready yet. How long will you be? Maybe a few minutes. It's hard to tell. Shh. Okay, just call me when you're ready. I can't wait to hear that sexy little voice. Oh, oh boy. Okay, let me get two things straight. Number one, this guy is a huge creep. Number two, he's gonna call me in the hopes of coming over to, quote, Rose's house. Now, you may be thinking, hey, Bolty, slight problem, you don't sound like a teenage girl. And you definitely do not want a pred like that coming to your house. Well, my friends, you're absolutely correct. And that's why I've set up two crucial steps to my genius plan in order to catch this creep. Ready for the call, I have my one and only voice changer app. Now, this is gonna help me in the call sound like someone Rose's age. And, uh, well, second, the house issue. Robert is expecting to turn up to a house ready to rescue Rose from her parents. What isn't he expecting? The address I'm giving him to be a house rigged with cameras. And just enough cameras to get some hard, undeniable evidence on this guy and his horrible deeds. Oh, and also his location. We're almost ready to call the guy, so let me just go ahead and activate my... A voice changer? It's go time. Hello? Uh... Robert. Oh, it is so good to hear your voice. I'm so glad we're doing this call. <laughs> Thanks. Aren't you happy to hear my voice too? Oh, yeah, of course I am. I I'm just a little nervous since it's our first time speaking like this. Good, good. There's no need to be nervous, baby. We're just gonna have a little chat now. Yeah, I know. Uh... Sorry for being so nervous. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, sweetie. I'll look after you. Oh, uh, thanks. So, back to what we were talking about on Discord. I'm ready for that pretty voice to tell me your address now. I have my pen and paper ready to write it down. Uh, um, I'm still not sure about it, Robert. I mean, it seems kind of soon for me to be telling you my address. Oh, come on now. I know you're just playing hard to get. You love the chase, don't you, Rose? Um, I, I, I'm just a little nervous, I guess. I don't need to be nervous, baby. I just want to give you a gift. I have to deliver it in person, though. I want to see your pretty face when you open it. Oh, okay then. I, I guess that does sound nice. Well, my address is... Good girl. I can't wait to see you. Just give me a second to look up your address on map so I can see how to get there. Okay, well, now he's gonna look it up and find an actual address for a house in Michigan. Oh, uh, little does he know, that's gonna be our sting house, so... Looking forward to that. I'm in Chicago, baby, so you only live four hours away. Oh, okay, so, um... I guess that means you aren't gonna come see me, huh? Oh no, I never said that. You're worth the journey, baby. It just means that it might take me a little while to get to you. Oh, yeah, I guess it will take you a while, huh? I'm gonna leave right away so we can be together as soon as possible. Be ready for me, my sweetie. So, it sounds like Robert has fallen right into our trap, as expected. Perfect! 
When he arrives at the sting house, he'll be met with my hidden cameras and microphones, and there's also gonna be a ring doorbell camera set up, so I'll get a notification for when he turns up. At that point, I'm gonna have him call me again, and then I can tell him he's been exposed. I'll go ahead and catch up with you guys when he arrives. Oh, okay, here, uh, my doorbell camera's telling me that there's some movement outside, and... Oh, look at that, just the way I expected. From what I can see, Robert's just left the house, so I think it's time for me to message him, telling him to call me back or something. I'll go ahead and do that. Oh, shoot, here he is, here he is, okay. Hey, Rose, I just rang the bell and knocked on the door, but you didn't answer. Where are you? Uh, Robert, I have news for you. It's not Rose that you've been talking to. What? Who are you and where is Rose? Rose contacted me for help when you started being a total creep over messages, and since then, you've actually been talking to me. No, 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 no. I'm not a creep. I'm just a man who wants to be loved. Rose was supposed to love me. Oh, man. You can't force children on the internet to love you. That's like the definition of creepy. Oh, f man. What am I even doing here then if I'm not meeting Rose? Well, uh, Robert, you fell right into my trap, actually. You were so desperate for Rose's address that you didn't even stop to think for a second that this could all be a trap. What do you mean, a trap? Well, I mean that I have a house rigged with cameras and microphones, so I am now in possession of footage showing you trying to meet up with a 13-year-old girl at her house. <laughs> you don't even know if it's like that. I could just be delivering something. You have no evidence of my intentions. See, that's where you're wrong again. I have records of all of your creepy, disgusting messages sent to Rose, as well as a recording of our calls. <laughs> Fuck this! Fuck you! <laughs> okay, look. <laughs> Robert, all this evidence is gonna go to the police. It, it does not look good for you at all. Like, I mean, if I were you, I'd just be saying my goodbyes to my friends and everything, because you're gonna be in jail for a long time, I will not lie. Oh, God. Oh god, I'm gonna find a lawyer and come for you, asshole! <laughs> okay, yeah, well, good luck with that, bud. I have to get- I have to get out of here. I have to go! Okay. Well, uh, we, we got him good, guys. Okay. Well, uh, there's no way he can get away from this, not with all the evidence we have against him, so, uh... And, yeah, this one was really a total creep, so nothing new on that front, but this was just a whole new level of experience that we don't usually get to see. Pretty fun. But, I mean, hey, at least we exposed him and he's gonna be off the internet, so job well done. I guess I've been Bolty. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to smash the subscribe button. I'll, uh, I'll be back soon. Soon to expose yet another creep. Please, stay tuned.